I often remind my engineering students that they have a lot in common with novelists. Novelists are experts at words and grammar, but even if they memorize the entire dictionary and become a wizard at diagramming sentences, that doesn't mean they'll write a fantastic story. A story requires an idea first. The words and grammar are only tools to bring that idea to life. As engineers, we learn to use math and science as tools. But innovation can only come from applying those tools to a new idea. And where does the new idea come from? Well, it's usually not from our equations. Rather, it's from all the other stuff in our lives. The people that we meet, the stuff on our desks, the things that we read, the things that we play with, maybe even what you had for dinner last night. One of my favorite ways to find new ideas is to seek out and embrace surprise. Think about the last time that you were surprised. When things happen that you're not expecting, you're thrown off kilter a bit. What just happened? Why? How? Surprise leads to curiosity, which can lead to engagement. And surprise can happen in any setting. It can happen in a classroom, in a book, in a package. Humans are creatures that learn through surprise. Neuroscientists have shown that babies learn through surprise. When faced with things happening that aren't expected, the babies become alert. They start to form hypotheses that they then test by typically by banging or dropping the object. We college students and professors, we're not that different from babies. We too learn through surprise. It's been shown that surprise has long and short-term impact on our cognition and even on how we recall information. So how can we bring surprise to our engineering classrooms? Well, it doesn't have to require complicated setups. In fact, one of my favorite ways to bring surprise into my engineering classes involves my first year design class. For that class, I don't tell my students what they're gonna be doing for their final project until launch day. And on that day, we get on to a school bus to a mystery destination. The whole ride, the students are asking, where are we going? What are we gonna be working on? They're surprised, which leads to curiosity, which can lead to engagement and frankly, a sense of excitement. Eventually we end up at maybe a playground where we'll be designing climbing equipment or a museum where we'll be designing an exhibit. The students are even more surprised if they get on the bus to find it already half full with the preschoolers who'll be working with us on the project. A second way to bring surprise into the engineering classroom is to introduce the students to people and ideas that they aren't expecting to see in your class. When designing plywood props for a dance troupe, my engineering students were surprised to find that they were gonna take a day of dance class. Now, lest you think that this is too much of a tangent for an engineering class, let me remind you that there is a lot of physics and cooperation involved in modern dance. When designing 3D printable bubble ones, my students spent some time with a professional bubble artist. We've also worked with musicians and circus performers and chefs and even stained glass window makers. In all of these cases, the student's surprise led to curiosity and engagement and learning ideas that they can refer to on future design projects. 
A third way to bring surprise into your engineering class is to show your students things that are really hard to understand at first. In my work with the rock band OK Go, we use their elaborate music videos to teach K-12 students about engineering, science, math, and art. When seeing musicians seemingly flying through space or walking through impossible landscapes, your brain goes into puzzle solving mode. What am I seeing? How are they doing that? Just like those babies that we discussed earlier. Sometimes you get it right and you solidify a new concept. Other times you get it wrong, but in the what ifs and wrong guesses, you come up with ideas that can be useful in future projects. Okay, I suspect that some of you are watching this and thinking that it's lovely, but what really matters is content. I wanna remind you that every time we walk into an engineering class, we have the power to influence how our students engage and interact with the material. It's about so much more than equations and solving practice problems. I encourage all of you to take a look at what you teach and find the surprises hiding behind your equations. Because I have found that the best moments as a professor happen when the next generation of engineers take the concepts that we teach them and use them to write a new and surprising story. <laughs>